My eyes look so good today. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to my MCU binge watch series. Obviously I already posted my Captain America the First Avenger one and now we are moving on to the next one which is Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel takes place in 1995 so it is the next one in our MCU timeline. To start off, Captain Marvel was released in 2019, actually about a month ago, on National Women's Day. Or International Women's Day, sorry. So let's go look up the plot synopsis and we'll get right into it. The movie is about um, Carol Danvers becomes one of the universe's most powerful heroes when Earth is caught in the middle of a galactic war between two alien races. That's pretty explanatory, honestly. I'm sorry for my lamp, by the way. It's having issues. But Captain Marvel is really awesome. I love this movie so much. I just had watched it yesterday to get footage for this video and it is amazing. It really made me just want to like go to the gym and just like become a superhero even though obviously that's not gonna happen. Let's talk about the cast. So in the leading role of Captain Marvel we have Br the amazing Brie Larson which if y'all know her before now her movie discography is so good. She's so good in every role she's in. Then we have returning to the MCU, um, Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury, which last time we saw him was in 2018's Infinity War when he faded away and called Captain Marvel. So it connects how he knows her, pretty much. Next, we have Ben Mendelsohn as Talos, who is a the scroll leader, um, and he's so good. <laughs> role he's also in is amazing and it's so fun to watch and so refreshing to see him in something new. Next we have Jude Law as Don Rog and Jude Law, love him. Lashana Lynch as Maria Rambo and Maria Rambo is so badass and I'll get into her later when I get into the movie stuff. And finally we have Annette Benning as Dr. Wendy Lawson. Stellar cast, stellar movie, stellar plot. I love this movie. Um, it's Oh, I love this movie. Okay, so let's get right into the trivia and then I'm going to watch the trailer. So at the very beginning, the cardboard cutout that Carol shoots in the blockbuster was supposed to be Jim Carrey's The Mask, um, but they couldn't secure the rights for it, so they had to go with what they ended up going with. Brie Larson trained for four hours a day for nine months to, to prepare for the role. She trained in judo, boxing, and wrestling and visited Nellis Air Force Base and met with active airmen. I thought it was pretty freaking cool. Uh, most songs on the soundtrack are sung by 90s female singers. So, sticking with that whole 90s female thing, which I love. For the scrolls, the makeup took two hours per person to apply. So they had a team of makeup artists putting it all on them, and that's crazy. <laughs> it is the first female-led MCU movie, sort of. It's the first solo female-led MCU movie, because in the prior year of 2018, Ant-Man the Wasp came out. The Wasp is played by Evangeline Lilly, who is a female, but she did not headline the movie by herself, so this is the first solo female movie. All right, so let's watch the trailer, and then we will get into the movie. So, scrolls are the bad guys. And you're a Kree, a race of noble warriors. Heroes. Noble warrior heroes. Your life began the day it nearly ended. We found you. With no memory, we made you one of us. So you could live longer Stronger, superior. You were reborn. I keep having these memories. Something in my past is the key to all of this. You know how to fly this thing? We'll see. That's a yes or no question. Yes. like to know what you really are. I think I had a life here. What aren't you telling me? You've come a long way, but you're not as strong as you think. Oh, I love that. This war is just the beginning. I'm not gonna fight your war. I'm gonna end it. Aren't you the cutest little thing? 
name? Aren't you cute? And what's your name, huh? Gary. What's I'll be back. My God, I love this movie. Okay. So, um, I actually spent yesterday watching the movie at the theaters because I didn't want to watch it illegally because I didn't want a bad quality version of it, if that makes sense. So, um, I'm going to include footage I got in the theater because I did kind of just whip up my phone, which I probably shouldn't. So, I will move locations and we'll see y'all in the next part in two seconds. So, enjoy. Alright, so I'm on my way to the theater to go see Captain Marvel because it is the current MC movie that is out right now. I can show as much as I can on um, here with my phone, right? But I don't want to be kicked out. <laughs> so I think this time around, I'm gonna have to rely more on my movie notes. Apologize for that, but like the movie just came out like two weeks ago, so like, whatever, it's not my fault. Alright, so I hope y'all enjoyed my um, illegal filming. I am going to get into my movie notes because I have a lot of them. So, to get us started, we're gonna get right into it. Minerva has such a cool character design. Minerva, if you don't know, was the character played by the actress Gemma Chan. I hope I said that right, I'm so sorry. And she's so beautiful. <laughs> um, I love the way like her, the way her like colored skin, um, like the blue skin, look, like blends so well into her Cree uniform. I thought her character design was really unique and cool. Yeah. Um, I literally just said, uh, show them boys who's boss. And I said, scrolls are practical. FX? Holy shit. Basically, in their special effects makeup, all the makeup on the scrolls on all the actors, except for obviously the morphing part, was all done practically. And it's so cool. It's so intricate and so beautiful. So the makeup department on Captain Marvel, y'all deserve a fucking applause because that shit was beautiful. I put Jude Law's accent, yum. I also literally just put Maria Rambo with three exclamation points. The score is fucking beautiful. Not only did the score have a bunch of like 90s nostalgia songs, it also just had a really beautiful like score throughout the whole thing. The composer, her name is um, Pinar Toprak. I hope I said that right, I'm so sorry ma'am. Um, you're so talented because your score is so freaking pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> Next, I put in all caps, um, Carol is so badass, holy fuck. And last but not least, I put the score is so stellar, holy hell, 90s nostalgia. So again, Pinot Toprak, you fucking rock. Alrighty, y'all. So that was Captain Marvel, um, which is the second film in our MCU binge. So, second film. And I'm definitely copying that from Sophia Nygaard. So Sophia, if you're watching this, I love your videos and I love you and Tyler, congratulations. Yeah, this movie was great. It was very refreshing to watch as a Marvel movie because usually they're not up there with like surprising you. They're very like, just like, you know, but like, like they'll have key elements that just are like, oh my God, like fucking Ego from Guardians 2. Like that's beautiful. <laughs> so just things like that, just like you don't really expect like the whole movie to be kind of like, holy hell, like, it's so good, um, but they did it this time, and it was just really refreshing to watch as a fan, as a viewer, as a movie watcher, yada yada yada. I noticed while I was editing my last video that I forgot to include Guardians 2 on the, um, MCU list, so I'm sorry for that, but I'm going to basically do Guardians 1 and Guardians 2 in the same video because they take place within weeks of each other, so I figured, maybe it's months, it's really close in time between each other. So I figured that I would just do it on one because the plot kind of follows itself right after. Thank y'all so much for watching. Um, this movie is amazing and I'm ready to go watch it again, <laughs> honestly. This film is going to be The Incredible Hulk from 2008 and I'm nervous. Yeah, no it's not. It's actually going to be Iron Man 1. I'm just a dumbass, so yeah. All right, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this stuff. Leave a comment below about this movie, about whether you liked it or not, whether you think Brie Larson is hot as fuck, because I know I do. And <laughs> yeah, see y'all next time and whatever I do, and I do sis. <laughs>